We're now live. We'll wait a couple minutes for everyone to get on. You're just letting us know. <laughs> she has holes in her That's her <laughs> outfit. You guys can go up front and I'll warn this. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Can you say? Back far enough? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> back far enough? <laughs> Sassy Black Yarns joined us. Oh, Akisha. Hey, hi. hi. I haven't seen you in so long. New Hampshire, I'll see you then. Right. Right, right that'll be. Well, we'd love to have you come for Fiber Tour, but definitely see you in New Hampshire. <laughs> purple hair Nana says hi. Oh, the purple haired Nana. <laughs> <laughs> that, that narrows it down to about 25 of my closest friends. <laughs> yep. So we have so much to talk about tonight. Yes. That unfortunately, you don't get a mill tour, friends. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It, it's so much that I had to actually make notes. Yes. It's so we're just going to have to go with it because modeling on our friend Sarah Pomegranate, half an hour, in and out, <laughs> with an outline, and she tells you, because she's a teacher. Fiber you know? Arts in the Glen says hi, MJ. Oh, and hi. And Purple Hair Nana is Sandra, and she will be here for the open house. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Okay. Sassy Black Yarn says she loves how you guys are always giggling. <laughs> <laughs> Sassy Black Yarns giggle when we were at Vermont Sheep and Wool. She had a whole line of people waiting to buy stuff and ask her, there's the sign, it says 420 yards per skein. There's three people standing there. How many yards is it? <laughs> she needed a good laugh. Yeah. And I pushed them aside and I said, hey lady, you're looking great. <laughs> and the other people are like, but how many yards are in the skein? And she had like, turned as one. It's a, 420. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, if you make the signs bigger, I guess. If any of you happen to have been in Lakeisha's booth at Vermont, it, I, I don't mean you. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, had to be it was else. someone else. It was her husband. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's always the husband. Always the always husband. husband. <laughs> so today we have some very serious business. Yes. We have to make sure that all our friends watching us okay. know that on April 27th and 28th, and 28th. Mm -hmm. we're going to be right here. That's Saturday and Sunday. Angie and I aren't usually here. Well, she comes in. I'm here on Saturdays. Every I'm, other Saturday. I'm at my desk. We're at a festival. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, it's Washington County Fiber Tour. Yes. And it's not just us. It's seven other fabulous locations. And we also have three amazing guests here. Yes. So I don't even know what order to tell you. Two of my three amazing guests are standing off camera. So we'll introduce them in just a minute. And for now, I'll tell you about... Yeah, there was a slight earthquake with the <laughs> camera. That's one of our amazing guests. <laughs> She's better at being an amazing guest. <laughs> so let me just run down the list of Washington County Fiber Tour. Okay. Jeff and Jim from Dandy Gander. A lot of alpacas, some ducks and some geese, a whole lot of fun, lovely family, loving family. What Very town? North. Okay. Um, West Granville. Okay. Yeah. There's a map, by the way, at yes. WashingtonCountyFiberTour.org. Yeah. So don't rely on me and my geography. Okay. It's, maybe it's Find the map. Hand. Get the map. Okay. But map. Jeff and Jim. Love, lovely dads, beautiful farm, lovely alpacas, and we're spinning some of that as part of the Southern Adirondack Alpaca Pool. Mm -hmm. So Jeff and Jim will, and their kids will have some of that yarn at their farm. So now continuing from north to south, 
Um, Sheila and Nancy, long time. Sheila used to even work here briefly. Yep. And we make roving for them from beautiful Romney. Just Romney. Just Romney. Just Romney. But it's yep, just silky. Romney. Yeah, I know. Beautiful. beautiful. If you want a hand spin, yep. some Romney roving. Yeah. Simply Pleasures Farm. And they have yarn that was fun here, too. Oh, yeah. many years ago. No, no last year. Last year? It was yeah. Well, to my year. world. Many, yeah. many. <laughs> yeah. One of the tour. She slept since then. Yeah. <laughs> one of the tour founders, Faith and, Faith and Herb. Faith and Herb Perkins, Quarry Ridge Alpacas, and their daughter, Kiki, who, uh, shout out to Kiki, does all the social media work for the tour. Great. And they have just a beautiful farm. They love talking about starting a farm. They're very, very nice people. And then, Sylvia won't mind me saying this, Fiber Kingdom in Salem. Sylvia Graham, come to find out, last fall she was 90 years old. Isn't that amazing? She drives to the meeting in the dark. Yes. I can't drive in the dark. She drives to the meeting in the dark. She's the note taker. She types that in a computer and sends an email. She's amazing. Like, yeah, I can't send emails any better than this. And she's 90 plus, 90 and a half. And never missed a tour. Now in its 36th year, I believe. So it's worth going there. Even if you don't want a drop spindle or a, a rigid heddle loom or a Kona warp yarn or a magazine or to see her rabbits. It's worth going just to see her. But she does have all that other good stuff, too. If you ever thought of taking up weaving, great place to start. Judy, our fearless leader, Haven Hill Alpacas here in Greenwich. We make roving for her. She has some beautiful fiber. She sells a lot of that in the hand spinning market, so we don't ever get to see her good no. stuff. But it's all right. It's still beautiful, beautiful fiber. Um, Sean from South Dominion. Now there's something good about South Dominion besides their sheep and their yarn, which we spin. Look at the hand motion. <laughs> yeah. They, it's a winery. I'll admit it. It's a, you can have a drink and buy yarn that we made. Um, so what there's nothing. No, right. And they're new to the tour this year. But our friend George, Georgie and Joe Hamilton will be there shearing some sheep and oh, answering this. some questions and mm -hmm. Um, last but not least, because we went from north to south, sorry Katie and Andrew at Care Luna, but they are also on the tour, and I have yet to be to their farm, because I'm always on here, not there. But I know they have Icelandic sheep. Oh, nice. Yes, and they're super cute. They have a beautiful website. It's nothing else. I, I can tell how nice their sheep are just by looking at their picture. <laughs> Well, hopefully we'll actually get our hands on, on some of that wool someday. So that's the lineup for the tour. Come both days, come one day, leave your car in our parking lot and get in your friend's car, and then carpool and come back. Carpool is a nice way to do it. We have two indoor bathrooms, heated indoor bathroom. <laughs> and hopefully it won't be so cold. <laughs> yeah. Spring needs to come. Yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> then also here at Batten Hill Fibers, mm -hmm. We're going to have Nora from Clean Fleece yep. setting up a table to talk about how to get your wool clean and why it matters. So she'll be here in person and also busy hiring, filling two positions, a production oh, assistant okay. and a farm to market business development specialist. So a management position with marketing experience required and an entry-level materials handling position. Nice. So hiring for two on-the-spot interviews. Okay. Yeah, so come just, just to come to take a job working for Nora. Mm -hmm. Then, also here, will be Lily Marsh. This is where you enter the... Oh. Not be said. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, yes. You will be 
be here. You bet. With your I'll weaving. Have my weaving. I'll have a bunch of stuff to show. Uh, I've got new pieces. I've got uh, some new yarn. So it'll be really an exciting time. Um, the other news I have, though, is that my studio is moving. And if you come talk to me at the Fiber Tour, you might get knowledge of when the open house is going to be. Because I'm finally moving my studio out of my house and into a 1,500 square foot sort of light industrial. I can't wait to see that. Yay. Sort of I can't like wait moving to see I don't think you should go. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go see it. Manufacturing. Angie used to work for me. Yes. So Angie so like I knows how homemade my early days were. Yeah. But uh, maybe we could get into a partnership battle. <laughs> <laughs> I made her an offer, she took it, but if you know <laughs> So <laughs> purple hair <laughs> Nana says we'll, we'll just cut her out. Purple hair <laughs> Nana says my hair is purple highlights because of you, Lily. Oh, <laughs> Been a good influence. That's right. Has it, been a good influence? it has been, yes. <laughs> okay, so Lily <laughs> will be passing out her open house postcard. Yes, yeah, I'll have something yes, anyway. She'll be yes. passing out. Yeah. <laughs> and, and from behind the camera, you have to come over here now because you're going to, Who's gonna you watch need the to camera? go back yeah. behind the camera and sort of read comments. Or yeah, yeah okay. read yep. comments. And Carol right. is coming. I'm coming with my new yarn. Well, you might want to be closer to the camera since Come. you're in your New York. Can we hold something? <laughs> These are <laughs> all the colors of Concordia this year. Oh, they're lovely. They're really wow. lovely. Isn't that great? You could do a lot oh, with them. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking of a great natural colored fade. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this is last year's Claire's Cory, and this is this year, so it's a grayer color, I really... Can you see? Ooh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then we are back in stock with our worsted weight, Skyler. Yeah. So, uh, also, I was at the Pin Drafter on a weekend, and I made some fancy colors with some of the left Stay the back slightly away from the light because you're getting glare. There, that's a good spot. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. That's got some what pinks and purple edges in it there. For all of us purple lovers. Oh, that's lovely, yeah. So, that was plant dyed wool that got carded and made into woven, yeah. Yeah. and then you pin drafted the dyed woven together. Right. Oh, oh, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah um, there's some lovely subtle colors in there. Yeah, here. and not all of these are plant dyed, but the majority are, because yeah. I've had some stuff that was left over yeah. that wasn't plant That dyed. last one you can't really tell in the picture, but it's got some, some nice warm yellows yeah. in there. Yeah, that that would go with the brown. That yeah. yellow is going to yeah. pop that brown. Yeah, yeah. it's going to make a rad kind of a yarn. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, so, yeah. so we'll fun here. stuff. I'll be here. Yeah, so people who have never met Carol, well, I won't have to put up with this annoying question. It's right up there <laughs> with asking Lakeisha how many yards are in the 420 yards. They, they come to my boat. Go back and go back. They come to my boat. They said, I have just one question. Oh, what's that? And they said, where's Carol? <laughs> The whole yard and the skein thing, that's like pushing on the door that says pull, right? I mean, yeah. It's just, yeah. That's what we do yeah. with humans. So. Yeah. 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 She was very polite to them. It was me who was rude. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, as, as long as we're talking about Lakeisha and sassy black yarns, I do just have to show off some of her work here. Well, there's not much left. People have apparently been buying a lot of it. Yeah. I guess it's a good thing, but this is my personal favorite. But this is all that's left. It's it's yeah, called good. New England Cotton Candy. Yeah. 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 And it's is obviously a one skein kind of yeah. pair of socks or a cute little shawl. Yeah. Um, beautiful striping. Yeah. And then this is the last skein of State Fair, a County Fair, I guess. Wow. It's called. Nice. Um, Very similar to your cowl. Oh yeah. 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 Um, so this is all I've got left of Lakeisha's at the okay. moment. A couple of solids that match it. I've got a few of the yellows. I've got a couple of the yellows and a couple of the greens. Yep. So nice. if you wanted to do a white, yellow, this would be this right here. Do a white. I'll put it back. Here. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. A white, yellow, and then yeah, yeah. That'd then be great. That. that would be yeah. perfect. And um. We so appreciate that that partnership. 
But now we have exciting new news. We're going to give a sneak peek. I love these colors. <laughs> we had... Angie's been busy in the dark. I love no, it. No, 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 we no, had no, no, no. some odds and we ends. We have some that are coming, though. See, like my odds and ends. Dyer. Just like you. We yep. had odds and ends that so of so dyed good. singles. We had some dyed roving. Um, we had odds right. and ends. And we spun the odds with the ends <laughs> and have made these. Beautiful. So Just I gorgeous. Think you could make what I'm wearing. Yes, easily. With those three? Yep. If you wanted a paler. Just make it with these three. Yep. But you could yep. go you could go either yeah. way with them. And then if you're so that was the pink and purple family. But here's the blue and green family. And look at that one. Ooh, this is the mango. Definitely. Yeah. Ooh, definitely. Love, 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 love. Have What's the fiber in these? Oh, all U.S. wool. All, all US. U.S. Yeah. All yeah. U.S. non-superwash, of course. So you could, oh I think, gosh. you might even get some sort of um, shift again kind of cardigan. Sure. Out of this. Yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. In that which, one right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The top one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't that but imagine yeah. that against a oatmeal or gray. Right. So a color like this yeah. as your body. Yeah. And this as your shift again going on. Nice. And if that wasn't enough, you could always put one of those. Yeah. Into a shift again. And you probably only need three, yeah. three oh, skeins to do that. Beautiful. Those three and a neutral. Yep. But we're limited. And yeah, there's not much. This is it. I think we've shown everything. Yeah. yeah. All the colors. Yep. So that's it. Yeah. April 27th. Sorry. No online orders. No early birds. You no must birds. be present <laughs> to win. <laughs> well, late. What time I get here? <laughs> Folks, this is, this is the price I pay for having <laughs> on a gray gloomy day and they just make me want to put my hand in here and nail. <laughs> this oh one. My you, you, you can look like this. Yes, you could. Yep. Yes. That's gorgeous. Yep. Oh my God. So, That's gorgeous. And the only way too. you they can really get that is on April 27th. If there's any luck, you could get it on April 28th. But I don't know I what's going to happen. I'm going to be here an hour early. So, <laughs> so, so you guys have got to get together. I have, some get friends together. Back, I have some friends back in Indiana who suddenly, for some reason, realized I love to knit socks. And so now I have sock requests. Uh, what they thought I was knitting all these years. But. So <laughs> Lily, come into the picture. We can't Thank hang you. up from this without two important announcements. We have two important it's announcements. She's looking at me like I know. No, and one is the Hudson Valley Textile Project Summit, which April is on 17th. April 17th. And I know a lot of people who follow us are not farmers, not manufacturers, not designers. You're, you're makers. You're a crafter. And I like that you're a maker and a crafter. And you're welcome at the summit. The focus is on small business. That doesn't mean you're not part of what. Oh, you're absolutely part of, of what we do. Yeah, absolutely. And the agenda is fabulous. Go to hvtextileproject.org. That's all you have to do. Click. I think it's on news. There's buttons all over. You can't really miss the summit agenda. <laughs> it's a great agenda. The, for lack of a better term, we have a keynoter, Eric DeFeo from Made X Hudson. Lily and I worked yeah. with Made X Hudson on our bucket hats a couple of years ago and he's going to talk about how to go from sewing room to runway yeah so you've got an idea you've got a prototype and you want to make a few more you got a sketch and you want to make a prototype and all of those so you want us and we spend a lot of time talking with farmers about so you want to have yarn made but we don't have not spent as much time with makers about so you want to make it commercial scale thing. So that's sort of our keynote at 115-ish um, on Wednesday, April 17th in Kingston. Register online now. Otherwise, you mightn't get lunch. Yes. You can always yes. come, but you, you may come. not be able to yeah. be, be in the lunch count. Yeah. New this year. Why am I holding this, this hat? 
because new this year we will have for sale Hudson Valley Textile Project merchandise. Nice. Yes, notions bags made and donated by CC's Wool. Um, packs of coasters, felt wool felt coasters, made and donated by Cornwall Yarn Shop. We have a few copies of Deb Robeson's Field of Five Wools that are custom made for us by by Katrinkles with the HVTP logo Yay! on them. We had and, a good time pulling those out. And last but not least, the hat. The Bat and Kilbini has now been branded. How? Where do I go? Here. Branded with the HVTP logo. There it is. Bat and Kilbini. So show show your pride, show you care. I'm only bringing 30. You can always order more. Um, but this is a super cute. If you haven't seen it, you can wear it rolled up with the lovely logo, or in the true slouchy look, just yep. shoved up. Very nice. With the the grommeted the grommets are tough. Making the yarns nothing. Making the grommet is hard. But it's going to be worth it. It's yep. such a lovely, lovely look. So I, I would encourage all of the all of the artisans and makers who are even halfway, even possibly having a thought about becoming larger and working with other, uh, in collaboration with other businesses, this would be a great summit to come to because working with Eric was really great. I mean, he, we learned he, a lot. Yeah, we learned a lot, and we we have a strong sense of now how to move forward with some of our own ideas. And I think that if you come, you'll have the same experience. He's a great speaker. And we've gotten to know him through the new consortium right. for the Fashion Innovation Center that you all who aren't in policy are sick of hearing me talk about a $9 million Fashion Innovation Center and the role of the six-member consortium. But Maynex Hudson is one of the six members, yeah, yeah. just like um, yeah. Hudson Valley Textile Project is yeah. one of the six members. And so we are having a presentation from Empire State Development, who are the... Um, funders of right. the consortium of the Fashion Innovation Center and whether they're there in person or via video I'm not sure but we'll be hearing yeah yeah which but Eric's a great guy and he was a great collaboration for us so it'd be well worth coming to hear him talk and then our friend Jessica Brooks is coming right. from Aga Market right, right, right. to talk about New York grown and certified and why you should why you should invest it's free but invest your time in becoming grown and certified and Gail, I'm sure, will speak up about that because she has that whole line of yarn where she went to the farm and saw the sheep and got the wool and, and we yep. made the yarn and and she sold she sold out at Rhinebeck. Wow. It was wow. crazy. MJ, was your uh, cowl is the shift, right? Yes. The shift yes. cowl. Yes. It certainly is. Number four. I've sold or given away the last three. <laughs> S.L. Grove. Yes, yeah, I haven't seen her name pop up. Well, if she watches it later, right. she'll know where one of those I've done. Right. <laughs> you know, you kids, you think at some age they stop taking your stuff. Yeah. Not yet. No. Not yet. So no. back to our notes. This is, this is a final shameless announcement that I want to just talk for a minute about being interviewed by Corinne. That was great. The Woolly Thistle about our yarn. Let me grab a skein, a cone of it. It's that it comes to the right as well. I have to only pick ones that will match my cowl yeah, of course, to, of course. to show understand. them. So this is a sock yarn called the Rambler that we make for the Woolly Thistle. And Corinne had shown and sold some of this in our booth at Rhinebeck, and people were fascinated to know about our collaboration and wanted to know how it was developed. So uh, Corinne invited me on to her YouTube. To, I thought, you know, a little five minute, hi, how are you? Here's the, here's the stuff, hi, goodbye. And then she said, oh, and I understand you leave tours to places. That's all she had to do was open that door. Yeah. <laughs> I That's walked. That's all has to do that. <laughs> walked through. I ran through that door. And shared with her audience 
that we're going to the Canadian Maritimes in June and Norway in September and the German Christmas markets in December. And what I hadn't counted on is that over 300 people would comment on the YouTube video. Over half of them said, oh, I loved hearing how the Rambler was made. And the other half said, oh, you should talk about tours more. They were so interesting. So I set out writing back to everyone. Great. I thought it was only a few. Right. But I kept it and did it. <laughs> <laughs> so sadly, I had to, I mean, it was hours. So now people are just emailing me and um, helping them through how to register on the We Travel platform, and putting them on mailing lists. Because sometimes, like, somebody really wants to go to Norway, but she's not free in September. Right. But maybe we'll go to Norway in 2026 again, so get her on the right list. Yep, yep. And we're after Corinne to come to Scotland with us in 2025. That would be terrific. I don't see why so she wouldn't fun. go. Right. I guess she's from there. She speaks Scottish. Right. It's English, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I think there is a speaking Scottish thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And um, could you all humor me for one more announcement? Oh, yeah, go ahead. I made this. It's oh, beautiful. Oh, it's I very seen it earlier. beautiful. Well, we have to be plugged in. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it is beautiful. I made this. When you were away? In Arizona. Wow. It's beautiful. Yeah. So I went to a beading workshop wow. at the yarn store in Tubec, Arizona. And Kathy, my teacher, had all the supplies and put up with me <laughs> and a magnifying thing. Yep. Beautiful. And in in just a few hours. It's gorgeous. And it really takes that kind of manly watch. Not to say there's anything wrong with men, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but it takes that watch and just kind of yeah. makes it a little, a yeah. little more feminine. Don't you, love, don't you love how, you, MJ, you are surrounded by stuff you have made. And you're still just so excited about this new thing. <laughs> I, I, that's one of the things I love about the, like this whole community of textile and creative people is that we all of us are creative and it's suddenly like, oh my God, here's this cool thing that I just did. Yeah. yeah. Like you and knitting with wire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it's another craft. Like yeah. we need hole in the head. Yes. Know, but you still find a lot of excitement and creativity and satisfaction yeah. and something and wonder. New. Yeah, something yeah. new. After I taught the second punch needle class in as many weeks, I was not as enthralled with punch needles. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have to keep some of our crafts that are not work. Yes, that's what happens. That's the thing. That's when what we, happens. We, we develop and develop, but then that's why my sock knitting. Like for me, knitting is now just pleasure. It's just pleasure. Don't sell any of my so knitting. Just, yeah. That's like me in this tapestry weaving classes. Every place I go, I take a weaving class. I send yeah. you these photos yeah. to prove I'm not putting you out of business. <laughs> um, that I can barely do this. But I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not my business. Yeah, you can just so, like have the simple pleasure of this is gorgeous yarn. This is a wonderful color. My feet are going to be warm. My wrist is going to be beautiful. And it's it's perfectly personal in a sense. Yeah. That's why, like, when I knit, I never <laughs> use a pattern <laughs> because, you know, I just want it to be about me. This is what I like. This is what I want to do. And, yeah. You hear that, Angie? It doesn't matter. You just knit. You just knit. <laughs> you just knit. Just knit. I'll be doing it soon. I just talked to Carol a little while ago. If actually. we have downtime. Yes. Yes. I'm going to hook up with Carol, and she's yep. going to get me started. Yep. Oh, if anyone can. Get my needles ready. If anyone can. <laughs> if Carol can. That's right. Carol Although when I go to her with a problem, she's I, not as forgiving. Look <laughs> <laughs> that out. Look that out. Carrie, she won't be that way. No, I won't be. Well, she, well, no. she, also, she taught my mom. She's yep. been, yeah, she taught my mom when they had, I don't know, five, ten minutes or so. Yep. A little downtime, and... You know. Where you go? Yeah. yeah so yeah. I'm not, I'm excited. Good. Good. I'll show you all. Uh, I'll show it off. Yep. When I get there, as I'm doing it, I'll make little videos. <laughs> good luck, <laughs> Angie. They say. They say good luck, Angie. Got this far. <laughs> Carol. Carol. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> they don't want to watch. Uh, we all I don't want to watch you. Do you have new hats? Like that, yeah. 
I haven't seen those colored hats. We have one brown, a few That's red, um, navy blue. Wow, nice. We have a just charcoal. So good with my purple hair. And, and a charcoal. charcoal. Oh, really nice. As well as our usual yep. um, tan, um, yep. oatmeal, and gray. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And um, Abby, our website person, is listing all of them right now. Ooh. Good. Oh, and guess what, friends, friends? We, uh, Angie and I had a big meeting with Abby today. Big <laughs> yes. meeting. Yep. We've decided free shipping on everything. Wow. Free shipping. Oh, free shipping. Wow, that's huge. Mm-hmm. Well, well, people have been abandoning their carts. Oh, okay. Uh, they they load them up with great stuff, and then they press the pay now, and they're, they're abandoning. Huh. So we can only assume... Because they didn't hesitate to buy the item. Right. It's when they had to ship it that yep. they got worried. Yeah. So we're giving them shipping. Because shipping. this stuff, it's got to... That's right. It's got to it. turn over. That's why yep. they call it a factory store. <laughs> it's not because it's the museum. This is a factory store. <laughs> <laughs> Although, you know what? The landscapes are pretty much gone. Yeah, there's yeah. no balance left. Yeah. There's the, the, my favorite is still the most mm-hmm. of that plummy purple, yep. gray. Well, the yeah. pictures don't do yeah. it justice, though. That's the, the pictures, thing. you yeah. can't see it by the pictures or even the video. Yeah. It's not the right color when you actually see it on the video. It's different. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Washington yeah. County Fiber Tour, though. Yeah. This would be a time for people to stock up on this. Yes, that Lily. Be, what does that look like with it? That would be the right time. To make a whole a shift again. With yeah, but I can't. No, you just yeah. gotta come. Oh, that one would brighten it. Nice. Yeah. You folks, you just gotta come and yeah. see this. It's not purple. It's not gray. It's not tan. Yeah. Yeah. It's. But yeah, I think the videos and the pictures don't yeah. do it justice. Right. White hair right. though. Don't do it justice. Right. Yeah. It's a beautiful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you just gotta come. It's that simple. April 27th and 28th. Learn more at WashingtonCountyFiberTour.org. And Angie will be here to take you on tours. doing all the tours, yep. Mm-hmm. In charge of tours. Yelly will be here both days. Weaving. Yes, come Carol talk. is here with all her new yarn. It's like a dry run for Maryland. Yep. And Nora from Clean Fleece, talking about getting wool clean and hiring. That's right. Yeah. So I think that's it. Yep. We'll I see you. So. Maybe we'll do one more live. But I don't know, because two weeks from now is the summit. Yeah, the so same yeah. day. Yeah, and we're not going to no, do that. No, we're not going to go live from the no. summit? No. No. We're going to no. be laying here on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great day. <laughs> well, so if you want to have live with us on April 17th, it's going to be live in Newburgh, and you're going to have to right. come Drive. to Kingston. You're yeah. going to have to come to Kingston yeah. Yeah. To, to see us. Sounds yeah. good. Okay, All right. folks. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Bye.